Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spain on a fork today. I'm going to show you how to make four different Spanish tortilla omelets, guys. All four of these Spanish tortillas are made with just four ingredients, and that includes the extra virgin olive oil. But the best part, each one is done in 30 minutes or less, guys. This is what Spanish cuisine is all about. Grinding very simple, humble ingredients and turning them into an extraordinary dish. This episode, you don't want to miss. Now, to make these Spanish tortillas, I am using an extra virgin Spanish olive oil from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company. Very important to use a great olive oil here. As you guys heard, I'm counting the olive oil as one of the main ingredients because this is what really flavors a Spanish tortilla. Yeah, this one from the Georgetown Olive Company is made with the Pico olive native to here in Spain. Such an amazing Spanish olive. Get yourself a bottle to make these Spanish tortillas. Link in the description box below. Really quick before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. For our first Spanish omelet, we are making none other than the famous Spanish potato omelet, La Tortilla Española. This one is so popular here in Spain, found in almost every tapas bar throughout the country, made with just eggs, potatoes, and onions. But when you combine them together, it's an absolute flavor bomb, so easy to make and done in 30 minutes. I'm going to begin by grabbing a couple medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes and cutting them into small pieces that are a quarter inch thick. Now these potatoes have already been peeled, washed, and patted dry. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab one large onion and roughly dice it. I always like to remove between two to three of the outer layers. This gives the onion an incredible texture and it makes it so much easier to cut. And for the last ingredient to prepare, I'm going to crack six large organic cage-free eggs into a bowl, season them with sea salt, and a little freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to whisk the eggs together until they're well combined. All right, let's start cooking our Spanish tortilla. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan. The diameter of this one is 10 inches. Heat it with a medium heat and add in one third cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Two minutes after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the pieces of potato and the diced onions. And start mixing those potatoes and those onions with that extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix this continuously, you just get in there once in a while. That way, everything's evenly cooked and nothing burns. And again, guys, you don't have to mix this continuously, you just get in there once in a while. That way, everything's evenly cooked. All right, it's been about 15 minutes since we added the potatoes and the onions into the pan, and these potatoes look perfectly cooked. They have an incredible golden color to them. At this point, I'm gonna season everything with sea salt. Mix it all together so the seasonings are evenly divided. Lower the fire from a medium heat to a low medium heat. And add in the egg mixture into the pan. Now get in there with a spoon and mix everything around. That way everything's evenly divided. About three minutes after adding the egg mixture into the pan, I'm gonna start running a spatula through the outer edges of the pan. This is to ensure that the tortilla is not sticking to the pan. Again guys, so important to use a good quality non-stick frying pan. And you can swirl the pan a little bit just to see that the tortilla is not sticking. All right, it's been exactly five minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan. We are on a low medium heat. This should be ready to flip. I'm gonna grab a plate. Now this plate fits like a glove on top of this pan. Normally you can use a bigger one, whatever works. I'm gonna flip it and slide the uncooked part of the tortilla back into the pan. And using a spatula, you can just grab anything that's left over in that plate and add it into the pan. Now I'm gonna push down on the tortilla just to make sure everything's evenly divided. And once again, I'm gonna run the spatula through the outer edges of the pan. This time I'm gonna use the back of the spatula. This is what gives the Spanish tortilla that classic rounded edge. All right, it's been a total of 10 minutes since I added the egg mixture to the pan. That's five minutes per side. This tortilla should be ready to go. Now, different pans and different heats will take longer or less to make this. It just takes a little bit of practice, but this one right here is ready to go. I'm gonna remove it from the heat 
and slide the tortilla spanula into a serving dish, guys. Our first Spanish tortillas done. Look how insane this looks. Such simple ingredients. Once again, just eggs, onions, and potatoes. But when you combine them together, it's an explosion of flavors. And once again, very important to use a good quality extra virgin as this is what really flavors the Spanish tortilla, guys. So easy to make, done in 30 minutes. For our second Spanish tortilla, we are making una tortilla con espinacas y ajo. Again, this is a very popular tortilla here in Spain. You'll find this in a lot of tapas bars, loaded with an insane amount of flavor, and once again made with the simplest ingredients ever. We're talking bag spinach, garlic, and eggs, but when you combine them together, it is an absolute flavor bomb, super easy to make, and done in under 30 minutes. I'm going to begin by grabbing 10 ounces of fresh spinach. This equals exactly 300 grams. The spinach I'm using is bag spinach. I love this stuff. It's so affordable, plus it's pre-cleaned and pre-cut. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab five large cloves of garlic. Like I always tell you guys, I love having a paper towel underneath when I'm working with garlics for an easy cleanup. And I'm going to roughly mince the garlics. And for the last ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna crack six organic eggs into a large bowl, season them with sea salt, and a little freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk the eggs together until they're perfectly combined. All right, let's start cooking our tortilla de espinacas. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan. Again, this one is a 10 inch diameter. Heat it with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna start adding the spinach into the pan. You wanna add it in there in batches. That way you don't overfill the pan. Just mix it around with the extra virgin olive oil. And as it starts wilting, start adding more spinach into the pan and continue to do this until all the spinach is incorporated into the pan. Once you've added all the spinach in there and it's nice and wilted, you don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna add in the minced garlics in there and season it with a pinch of sea salt. And mix everything together until it's well combined. At this point, you do want to mix this continuously. That way those garlics don't burn. One minute after adding the garlic into the pan, you don't want to overcook it. You want it to be nice and fragrant. I'm going to add in the egg mixture in there. And get in there with a wooden spoon and mix it around. That way everything's evenly divided. Now in past videos when I've made tortillas, I normally graft this mixture, add it into the bowl with the beaten eggs, mix it all together and then back into the pan. You can go either way, but by doing it this way it's so much easier. Plus this is the traditional way to make tortillas in Spain. Once again, three minutes after adding the egg mixture into the pan, I'm going to run a spatula through the outer edges of the pan to ensure that the tortilla is not sticking to the pan. All right, it's been a total of five minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan, and it's time to flip the tortilla. If you're not sure if your tortilla needs less time or more time, you can always get in there with a spatula, take a sneak peek in the underneath, and see if it's got the perfect color to it. This one is ready to go. Once again, I'm gonna be grabbing a plate. This one is a slight bit smaller than the pan, so it fits on top like a glove. I'm gonna flip it, and slide the uncooked part of the tortilla back into the pan. And once again, I'm going to push down on the tortilla. That way, all the ingredients are evenly divided. And run a spatula through the outer edges to give it that classic rounded edge. Okay, guys, it's been exactly 10 minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan. That's five minutes per side. This tortilla de spinacas looks perfectly cooked. I'm going to remove this from the heat and I'm gonna slide it into a serving dish, guys. Our second Spanish tortillas. Then look how insane this tortilla de spinacas looks. So many great flavors. You got all that garlic, the fresh spinach, and those eggs, all of them combined together. It's an absolute explosion of flavors. This tortilla de spinacas y ajo is so easy to make, and the best part, it's done in under 30 minutes. Moving down the list to our third Spanish tortilla, we are making una tortilla con champiñones y cebolla. This one promises to be one of the best Spanish tortillas you've ever tasted. Those mushrooms add a gorgeous meaty texture, and when you combine them with the onions, it's just an explosion of flavors. So easy to make, done in under 30 minutes. 
I'm gonna begin by thinly slicing 15 button mushrooms into quarter inch thick slices. I've already washed these and patted them dry. And very important, try to cut all the mushrooms in the same size, that way they all cook evenly. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab one large onion. As you guys know, I always like to remove between two to three of the outer layers. This gives the onion an incredible texture and it makes it so much easier to cut. And I'm gonna roughly dice the onion. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna grab six large organic cage free eggs and crack them into a bowl. Season the eggs with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And whisk the eggs together until they're well combined. All right, let's start cooking our tortilla de champiñones y cebolla. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add the diced onions in there and the sliced mushrooms. And start mixing the onions and the mushrooms with that extra virgin olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously. That way everything cooks evenly and nothing burns. About five minutes after adding the onions and the mushrooms into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, and those mushrooms have a beautiful texture, I'm gonna season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm gonna give it a quick mix, that way all the seasonings are evenly divided. Lower the fire to a low medium heat. And add in our egg mixture. And once again, get in there with a wooden spoon and give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. And once again, I'm gonna run a spatula through the outer edges of the pan to ensure that the tortilla is not sticking to the pan. Like I've told you guys before, so important to use a good quality non-stick frying pan when you're making Spanish tortillas. Okay, it's been five minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan, and it's time to flip that tortilla once again. I'm gonna be using the same dish. This one's a little bit smaller than the pan, so it fits on there like a glove. I'm gonna flip it and slide the uncooked part of the tortilla back into the pan. Now using a spatula, I'm gonna push down on the tortilla, that way everything's evenly divided. And once again, run the back of the spatula through the outer edges. This is what gives it that classic rounded edge. All right, it's been a total of 10 minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan and cooked it five minutes per side. This tortilla de champiñones y tabulla is ready to go. I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And I'm gonna slide it into a serving dish, guys. Our third Spanish tortillas then. Look how insane this one looks, and let me tell you, those mushrooms and those onions, when you combine them together, it's an absolute explosion of flavors made with the simplest ingredients, very easy to put together, and done in under 30 minutes. For our fourth and final Spanish tortilla, we are making a tortilla de asparagos y cebolla, guys, again. This is such an insanely delicious Spanish tortilla. This one's very popular in Spain, especially during the springtime when asparagus are in season. Loaded with flavors and done in under 30 minutes. I'm gonna begin by grabbing one spring onion. We're gonna be using the bulb and the tubular green leaves. I'm gonna roughly dice the bulb of onion. and roughly chop the tubular green leaves. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab 20 fresh stalks of asparagus and cut them into one inch pieces. These have already been washed and patted dry. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna crack six large organic cage-free eggs into a bowl, season them with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper and I'm gonna whisk the eggs together until they're well combined. All right, let's start cooking up our final Spanish tortilla. I'm gonna grab the same nonstick frying pan again. This is a 10 inch diameter. Heat it with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. 
Two minutes after adding the oil into the pan, I'm gonna add in the pieces of asparagus and the diced onions. And start mixing them around with the extra virgin olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. About three minutes after adding the onions and the asparagus into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, we don't want to overcook those asparagus, we want them to have a nice texture to them. I'm going to add in the roughly chopped leaves from the spring onion, season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm going to give it a quick mix, that way the seasonings are evenly divided. Lower the fire to a low medium heat and add in our egg mixture. And once again, get in there with a spoon and give it a quick mix. That way everything's evenly divided. And once again, after three minutes, run that spatula through the outer edge of the pan to ensure that the tortilla's not sticking to the pan. Okay guys, it's been exactly five minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan and it's time to flip the tortilla again. We've been on a low medium heat. Now I'm gonna be using the same dish here. My mother just gave me this dish as a gift and I already absolutely love it. It fits like a glove into this pan. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and slide the uncooked part of the tortilla into the pan. And once again, using the spatula, push down on the tortilla to make sure all the ingredients are evenly divided. And remember to run it through the outer edges of the pan to give it that classic rounded edge. All right, guys, it's been exactly 10 minutes since I added the egg mixture, which means this Spanish tortilla con asparagos y cebolla is ready to be served. I'm gonna remove it from the heat and transfer it into a serving dish. Guys, our final Spanish tortillas then. Look how incredible this one looks and the flavors. You've got those spring onions, those asparagus. It's an absolute flavor bomb. So easy to make using the simplest ingredients and once again, done in under 30 minutes. <laughs> That's it guys. All four of our Spanish tortilla omelets are done. You guys saw we just used the simplest ingredients ever to create four extraordinary Spanish tortillas. So easy to make and each one done in 30 minutes or less. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Cheryl. Again, Cheryl, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the recipe, if you want to support me on Patreon, help me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.